Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, what up, y'all? Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. It is another episode of Wine Still of the Week, and uh, I think I got a really good one today. How's everybody doing this week? It's been a really good one, uh, but I just realized that I have not been, um, I've not been meditating as of late. And so um, I made a point to wake up a little early to, uh, this morning uh, and have a nice little meditation session, listen to some, um, some Miles Davis, throw on some incense, some candles, have my tea, worked out, and then got down to business and handling the rest of the day. But I kind of wanted to enter in my day the right way just because I feel like I needed to. I feel like I've been chasing my tail and just reacting instead of, like, I guess, um, um, scheduling how I want the day to go instead of just reacting to how the day is um, treating me, basically. Uh, so uh, I did that today. And I, feel, I feel way better. I feel like I'm just a little bit more relaxed and a little bit uh, less things on my shoulders. Uh, it doesn't take away everything, but meditation does help if you guys are, uh, needing to get some quiet time and just kind of get still. Um, but that's enough of me preaching. I just had to get that out because I, I feel really light today. Um, but anyway, you guys are not here for that. You're here for the wine. Uh, we're going to get right into the wine today. Uh, and we're talking about, a, um, a producer that I've done before on here, but I was talking about their Barbera. It's California Barbera. Today, we're talking about the Petit Sirah 2015. This is the uh, Perry Creek Winery Altitude. Um, they are from El Dorado area, uh, which is kind of uh, Sacramento, Sacramento-esque, like uh, kind of around that area. Um, and so let's get right into this wine. On the nose... I get boysenberry, which is a unique type of berry. Um, I my, Again, my mother used to take me around with her to the farms and stuff uh, to pick different types of fruit. And I just remember the unique flavor profile of a boysenberry. I'm getting that on the nose here. I'm getting uh, pinto lead, and I'm also getting lilacs going on here too. Lilacs because I grew up, partly grew up on a place called Lilac Lane in Antioch. Um, they used to have uh, lilacs around that area, so I remember the smell of it, the aroma of that. I'm sorry, I just feel like I need to explain this stuff because sometimes people are like, how do you know this? What do you, where do you, where's your frame of reference from? And I'm like, okay, well, let me explain to you how my childhood was. But anyway, let's get back into it. There's also like a kind of a sliced uh, blueberry uh, thing going on here too. Like very fleshy blueberries and black cherry. Let's go ahead and taste it and see what's going on in the palate. All right, I'm going to talk about structure first on this one. This finish is dry. Um, has great grip here. I mean, it's 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 it finishes dry-ish. Um, it has great grip here, like very drying um, kind of tannins, but tannins are probably medium. medium. Uh, acid is... Acid is at the high, higher point, high, higher level of uh, medium, almost venturing into the medium plus area. Yeah, it's definitely like this blueberry thing that it approaches up with. Second quarter of the boysenberry thing is where I'm getting more, a little bit of a bitter uh, kind of boysenberry blueberry thing, which is really cool to me. Um, that means it's not overly fruity. The fruit is there, but you get like kind of like a, a lacing of like bitter, like a little bit of a bitterness, which is kind of cool to me. As it get transitions in the third quarter, you get a little bit of that pencil lead thing that I was talking about. Um, there's also a kind of a black tea thing on the finish, which I'm digging. It's also a bit of um, black cherry up front. So, okay, so let's put it like this. Mostly fruit up front. It just kind of approaches with the fruit. You catch all the stuff kind of in the first and second quarter. As you get to the third quarter, you get a little bit more of that kind of pencil lady, earthy thing going on there. And then it finishes still with the fruit because the fruit doesn't go away. Um, but it finishes with a little bit of like kind of like a tea component, which is interesting. Tea and fruit. Kind of cool. 
to me, it was a very good wine. It does dip a bit in the third quarter, um, but still uh, gets back on steam on the fourth quarter on the finish. And the finish is quite long. So this just wine kind of has like a kind of a raisin net thing going on too in the third quarter. Um, not third quarter, I'm sorry. In the second quarter, along with some of that fruit. Interesting wine, love it. Uh, Petit Syrah. Um, I would uh, rate this wine probably at about... Honestly, I'll probably rate this wine at about an um, 88. I would say this 88. Uh, 88. I like it. It's definitely worth the buy. It's uh, I got it from uh, Grocery Outlet for $10. So if you get your hands on it. I say this is... Uh, if you want get... I, I would say get about six or eight bottles of this. You know, if you want to do a case, do a case if you love, really love Petit Syrah. But this is a, uh, this is a good bottle of wine. It really is. Um, other than that, the 28th of this month, um, so we still have some time, um, join us. Uh, we're going to be in Oakland doing a book signing, coming back, get a signed copy from me and Armando, Tam, him being the chef, me being the psalm, uh, on the 28th in, o in Oakland. Please DM me if you're interested in going. Um, it's not expensive at all. Um, you're going to have some wine. You're going to be able to talk to some of the winemakers, uh, that were in the book and we're going to have some good, we're going to have a lot of fun, um, with that um hope everybody's having a wonderful week i hope this is the perfect episode to kind of lead you into the week yet the weekend and uh question of the day oh this is a good one uh, let's do a versus um because some people like to have different opinions favorite grape between a petite syrah and a syrah you know totally different grapes guys so i know some people may think they're the same they're not they're different totally different grapes uh, but I'm sure most people have tried both both grapes. Which one is your preference? Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers.